What's going on all of my healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to crush medications for peg tubes. Let's get started. There are two main reasons why we crush medications. One is if a patient has a peg tube, we need to crush the medication into a fine powder to push that medication through tube feedings for absorption. The other reason is if we have a patient who has difficulty swallowing and could potentially choke on a medication, we want to make sure that it's in a fine, nice powder so that we prevent any kind of aspiration from occurring. Let's get started on what the demonstration for peg tube crushing looks like. Before we begin, I always want you to follow your medication and hospital protocols when it comes to the amount of solution. That's the water that you give prior to, during medication administration, and after medication administration. Each hospital has a very strict policy on what this medication administration will look like, so always follow your protocols. To begin, we're going to need to gather our supplies. The first thing that we're going to need is our pill crusher, of course. We're gonna need a medicine cup if the medication is to be given through the tube route. We're going to need a 60 ml syringe. It's also known as a Tumi syringe. Um, if the medication needs to go through that tube route, such as a nasogastric tube or peg tube, this is what you're going to use. We're going to need warm water, approximately 20 mLs flush, as well as we need our gloves, because we wanna make sure that we're wearing them when we're handling crush medications due to the fact that we're breaking down medications into their chemicals components. As always, you wanna make sure that you're performing hand hygiene before putting on your gloves. While you're putting on your gloves, you wanna make sure that you're checking your six patient rights of medication administration. That's to make sure that we have the right patient, the right drug, the right dose, the right route, right time, and of course, we wanna make sure that we're doing the right documentation once we're done. We're gonna begin by putting our pill into our pill crusher. Now, what's interesting about this particular pill crusher is it's a two-part system. So you've got a pill crusher on the bottom so that when you put them together, you can crush it, but you also have a pill slicer in the middle just in case you have to slice some medications in half depending on what the physician orders. So we're gonna begin by putting our pill into the pill crusher, and we're going to crush it. This might take a little bit. You're going to need to use some strength with this, and you really wanna make sure that it's completely down into a chemical powder. Because as you can see, based on what we have here, some of that pill isn't crushed down, and that's gonna get stuck in the peg tube. You don't want that. You really wanna make sure that you're breaking that down into a fine chemical powder. And this may take a little bit. Once your pill is broken down, you wanna transfer it into your medication cup. You wanna make sure you get all of that powder in there because that's all of your patient's medication. We're going to instill about 20 mLs of water into here and we're gonna mix it together using that Tumi syringe next. So when you first open your Tumi syringe, it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to get it apart and that's normal. So you're gonna to have to use a little bit of strength to get that apart and take this little thing out and now we've got a Tumi syringe that works. Something that's important to note as we're mixing this medication is that you want to crush each pill separately if you are giving multiple medications to our patients because if you start mixing medications some medications will actually decrease the effectiveness of the other medications. So you're going to give one medication at a time. Next, you wanna pull up your medication from the cup and you're just gonna pull back on your syringe. Sometimes you might have to kinda of anchor it a little bit. And kind of mix and make sure that you're getting everything in to the syringe. It's okay if you get a little bit of air in it. And if you weren't able to get everything, you can always add a little bit more water to it mix it up and get that remaining medication in here as well. There we 
go. So now you've got your medication component in your syringe and you want to push out the excess air. I'm going to be honest with you, you need to be very uh, careful when you're pushing this air out because you can actually push the medication and all the water out. So just push it up very slowly until we get to the top of the syringe. See? And there you go. So now all of my medication is in the top of my syringe as well as my syringe and this is what we are going to administer into the patient's peg tube. Some important tips when it comes to medications is not all medications can be crushed, such as capsules or extended release or long acting medications. So always consult your pharmacy on whether a medication be, can be crushed or not. Some easy medications to remember that can't be crushed are pills that are known as enteric coated, EC, long acting, LA or LX, extended release, ER, Controlled release delivery, that's your CRCD, and sustained release and action, that's your SRSA. You really want to work with your interdisciplinary teams as well as your pharmacy to see if you can switch medications to a liquid form or maybe even intravenously so that medications don't need to be crushed, if at all possible. I hope that this quick video was helpful for you in understanding why we crush medications for peg tubes and how to administer them. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering your questions. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe here on YouTube and turn on that bell notification so that you get notified when I post new videos. And check out my website at www.nursechung.com where there's a ton more resources there for you to help you pass your nursing school and NCLEX exams. Until next time, I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.